What's up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510, and today we're bringing you a special review. Another treehouse first for me. This is Haze. Haze from Treehouse. Um, I had Julius, I had Green, I had Alter Ego, had Very Green. So little by little, I'm starting to try these uh, treehouse beers. Like I said before, I'm late to the party, uh, but Haze is a hazy New England style IPA from Treehouse Brewing. If you guys don't know already, they're from uh, Monson, uh, Monson or Munson, Munson, Massachusetts, um, about an hour or hour and a half away from uh, Boston. Um, super hyped brewery, but well-deserving, uh, making killer IPAs, a few great uh, stouts. Um, so yeah, so if you're into beer, you've heard of Treehouse, you've heard of Trillium, you've heard of the um, hazy IPA, you've heard of the uh, cloudy IPA. Uh, they're the uh, one of the few. Um, Alchemist was the first, but they're one of the few uh, breweries that are just everybody goes crazy for trading for. Um, and yeah, so big shout out to my man Sean from Nerd Sense Reviews. He hooked me up with this. I sent him some Bay Area bombs. He sent me some New England bombs, juice bombs. And this is my first time having this. Very excited. Uh, um, this is 8.2% double IPA. Um, so without further ado, let's get it open, see what it smells like, see what it tastes like. For those who have seen other people's reviews, you know, I know this came out about a year, two years ago, but this is my first time. So bear with me. Um, every treehouse beer is like just something, a totally different experience. I had bright and I know some people, um, you know, in my opinion, that's underrated. That's an underrated beer, but some people said, oh, that's, you know, average. I think just average maybe for them because they pump out so many great IPAs. Uh, so Hayes is one of their beers that they have on a regular basis. Not all the time, but I do see it often um, on Instagram and everything. So it's not like super, super rare. Uh, but for me being in the Bay Area, this is rare for me. So let's get a nice pour. All right, so like I said, uh, super excited, super, super excited. Just anytime I get to try a beer that I don't usually get to try out here, um, just excited. Just never thought I'd be trying these beers. I still got to make it out to New England. I still got to make it out to Boston and just visit Trillium, go to Canton, go to Night Shift, go to here, go to Main Bear Company. Just take a whole New England trip. I still need to do that. Uh, that will be coming soon. Uh, this looks beautiful in my monkish glass. Looks like orange juice, <laughs> tangerines. That's what it looks like. Let's get up close and personal. Wow. Oh, I got too up. Got too up close and personal right there. But um, it's it's has a big, big, big um peach smell. Um, I love peaches. I love apricots, and it kind of has that peachy apricot vibe um 8.2 percent um but i'm assuming this is probably going to be just easy drinking juice bomb but it does have some uh a little bit of a, a piney note to it as well almost like a little dankness a little bit but just peaches and apricots and juice um big mango notes in, on, on this as well um let's uh get a taste cheers Man, <laughs> that's a, that's this is a double IPA, and <laughs> this tastes like the easiest one of the easiest drinking uh, double IPAs I've ever had. Um, little n no bitterness at all, a little dankness as far as like pininess. West Coast um, it has a little bit of influence on that, but just easy drinking peaches, apricots, all hitting me in my face, uh, mangoes. Um, just a big, big juice explosion. Um, the mouth feels wonderful, like all the treehouse beers I've had. Um, just, you know, full body mouth feel, but at the same time, so easy drinking. It's just a well-balanced beer. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing that I can say that people who have had this beer haven't said already, or who have reviewed this beer haven't said already. Just Treehouse, when it comes to IPAs, double IPAs, they knock it out the park each time. Um, 
Yeah, it has a, a little bit of bitterness, like a, a little bit. But at the same time, it's just so easy drinking. And the peach flavor, um, you just get that right away. And the mouthfeel is cold in the mouth. I can still taste all the just different flavors from this beer as I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah, and for an 8.2% beer, um, I could probably drink a few, maybe three to four of these in a day, especially on a nice summer day in the Bay Area. This would be perfect. Um, yeah, this is a great a great beer, but you guys already know that, like, you know, um, I'm just sharing this experience with you guys, but, um, yeah, I don't want to even overdo it, great beer, if you're in New England, stop by Treehouse, if you are into trading, people do, you know, want, if you're from the Bay Area, at least, people do want to try, like, pulp, or field work beers, or rare barrel beers, or cellar maker beers, so, I mean, if you find a, a real good person, cool person that wants to try some West Coast hops, and he might have some treehouse laying around he can also offer. I would say make that trade immediately just to try something that you probably might not get to try. Um, this is just excellent. Um, yeah, aroma, A, taste, A, appearance, A, um, just checks every box. Um, treehouse Brewing, I don't have really <laughs> nothing else to say. A plus beer. Um, until next time, you guys take care. Peace.